Answer, the silent predator lurking in our everyday lives. It strikes fear into the hearts of many, claiming lives with ruthless efficiency. But what if I told you that some of the foods we love might actually be helping cancer grow? Yes, you heard it right. Recent studies have revealed a chilling truth. Even the most beloved staples of our diets may be concealing a dark secret dot they can trigger cancer. In this enlightening exposure, we'll delve into the shadows and uncover the insidious culprits hiding in plain sight. In the realm of Buddhism and Zen philosophy, the concept of mindfulness holds profound significance, especially concerning our dietary choices and their potential impact on health. So, buckle up and prepare to confront the unsettling reality of cancer-causing foods that may be lurking on your plate as we journey through the maze of dietary dangers. So, without any wait, let's get started and make sure to subscribe the channel for such amazing videos. Number 1. Refined Sugar Often referred to as the sweet poison seduces our taste buds with its enticing sweetness, yet beneath its saccharine facade lies a stark reality. Stripped of any semblance of nutritional value, refined sugar offers nothing but empty calories, leaving the body deprived of essential vitamins and nutrients vital for sustenance. This insidious ingredient, ubiquitous in our modern diets, has been implicated in a myriad of health concerns, including its ominous connection to the promotion of cancer cells. As we indulge in its seductive allure, we unwittingly expose ourselves to the lurking dangers that accompany its consumption, unwittingly fueling the flames of disease within our own bodies. Number 2. Soda Pop, with its sparkling bubbles and tantalizing flavors, conceals a dark truth beneath its vibrant facade. Laden with sugars, colors, and an array of chemicals, this seemingly innocent beverage can serve as a catalyst for the insidious growth of cancer cells within the body. Among its arsenal of ingredients, fructose, a type of sugar prevalent in sodas, has emerged as a particularly menacing culprit, with studies linking its consumption to the development of pancreatic cancer. A sobering reminder of the hidden dangers lurking within our favorite fizzy drinks. Moreover, hazel, a lesser-known component found in soda formulations, has garnered attention as a potential carcinogen, casting a shadow of doubt over the safety of indulging in these carbonated concoctions. As we raise our glasses to toast life's moments, we must pause to consider the unintended consequences of our beverage choices, recognizing that the sweet allure of soda pop may come at a devastating cost to our health and well-being. Number 3. Processed meats, with their savory aroma and convenient packaging, hold a bad secret within their enticing appeal. From sizzling sausages to crispy bacon strips, these culinary delights are laced with additives and chemicals, that have earned them a damning classification by the World Health Organization as carcinogens agents capable of triggering cancerous growth within the human body. Eating these tasty meats might lead to a big problem because studies show they can make colorectal cancer more likely. Even though they're delicious and lots of people love them, processed meats are actually pretty bad for our health. They quietly harm us with every bite. When we're shopping for food, we should be careful and pay attention. Even though processed meats seem harmless, they can be really dangerous for our bodies. Number 4. When we make microwave popcorn, the bags it comes in have chemicals that can make us sick. These chemicals have been connected to liver and pancreatic cancer, which are serious illnesses. And it's not just the bags that can be harmful. The flavors added to the popcorn can also cause a lung disease called bronchiolitis obliterans. Diastele, a compound commonly used to impart a buttery flavor to popcorn, has been associated with a severe lung disease known as bronchiolitis obliterans, or popcorn lung. When inhaled in large quantities, diastel can cause inflammation and scarring of the airways, leading to respiratory problems and diminished lung function. Despite efforts by some manufacturers to eliminate diastel from their products, other potentially harmful flavoring agents may still be present, raising concerns about the long-term health effects of regular microwave popcorn consumption. So, even though microwave popcorn is tasty and easy to make, it's important to be careful because it can hurt our bodies in ways we might not realize. Number 5. The fruits we love, like apples, peaches, grapes, and strawberries, can have something not so good on them called pesticides. These are chemicals used to keep bugs away from the fruits while they're growing. But these chemicals can be really bad for our health and have been connected to cancer. Because these fruits have a lot of pesticides on them, they're put on a list called the Dirty Dozen, which means they're some of the most contaminated fruits we can eat. 
So even though we enjoy these fruits, it's important to wash them well before eating to try to get rid of as many pesticides as we can. What steps have you taken to minimize your consumption of cancer-causing foods in your diet? Are there specific dietary changes or substitutions that have made a significant difference in your health and well-being? Share your strategies and experiences in the comments below. Number 6. Potato chips, those crispy, salty snacks we can't resist, have a downside they contain a substance called acrylamide, which can lead to cancer. This chemical forms when potatoes are cooked at high temperatures, like when they're turned into chips. But here's the thing acrylamide isn't just in our favorite snacks. It's also found in other everyday things, like plastic, making paper, and even the smoke from cigarettes. So while we munch on our potato chips and enjoy their satisfying crunch, it's essential to be aware of this hidden danger. Choosing healthier snacks or limiting how often we indulge in potato chips can help reduce our exposure to acrylamide and keep us healthier in the long run. Number 7. Farm Salmon The fish we often enjoy for its taste and nutritional benefits might not be as healthy as we think. Here's why. Because there are so many fish crowded together in fish farms, they can be exposed to chemicals that aren't good for us. And here's another thing. The natural color of salmon isn't always that nice pink color we're used to seeing. Sometimes, to make farmed salmon look more appealing, they add chemicals to their food to change their color to that reddish pink hue we expect to see. So even though farmed salmon is convenient and tasty, it's important to know that it might have been treated with chemicals that could be harmful to our health. Choosing wild-caught salmon or looking for labels that tell us how the fish was raised can help us make healthier choices when it comes to eating salmon. Number 8. And tomatoes, those convenient pantry staples we use in so many recipes, might not be as safe as we think. Here's why. The lining of the cans they come in often contains a chemical called bisphenol A, BPA. This chemical has been connected to cancer and other health problems. But there's good news. We can choose a safer option, fresh organic tomatoes. These tomatoes haven't been stored in cans with BPA-lined linings, so they're a healthier alternative. Plus, organic tomatoes are grown without synthetic pesticides or fertilizers, which makes them even better for us and the environment. So, the next time we're cooking up a storm in the kitchen, let's consider reaching for fresh organic tomatoes instead of canned ones. It's a simple switch that can make a big difference in our health and well-being. Number 9. Hydrogenated oils, commonly used in processed foods to improve shelf life and texture, pose significant risks to our health due to their high trans fat content. Trans fats are notorious for their detrimental effects on cholesterol levels, increasing the risk of heart disease, stroke, and other cardiovascular issues. Moreover, emerging research suggests a potential link between trans fats and breast cancer, highlighting the need for greater awareness and caution in our dietary choices. Despite their role in preserving the freshness of packaged foods, Hydrogenated oils present a serious health risk that cannot be overlooked. By prioritizing foods made with healthier alternatives such as olive oil or coconut oil, we can reduce our exposure to trans fats and support better overall health outcomes. These healthier oils not only offer superior nutritional profiles, but also contribute to better flavor and culinary versatility in cooking and food preparation. Furthermore, raising awareness about the dangers of hydrogenated oils and advocating for clearer labeling practices can empower consumers to make more informed decisions about the foods they purchase and consume. By promoting greater transparency in the food industry and encouraging the use of healthier cooking oils in home kitchens and food manufacturing processes, we can collectively work towards reducing the prevalence of trans fats in our diets and safeguarding public health for generations to come. Number 10 white flour that is fine powdery stuff we use in baking might not be as harmless as it seems. Here's the thing. When flour is refined to make it white, it loses a lot of its nutrients. And to make matters worse, it's often processed with a chemical called chlorine gas. This combination of nutrient loss and chemical processing has been linked to an increase in breast cancer among women. So even though white flour is a staple in many kitchens, it's essential to be aware of its potential health risks. Choosing whole grain alternatives, like whole wheat flour or almond flour, can be a healthier option. These alternatives retain more of their nutrients and are less likely to be processed with harmful chemicals. Making small changes like this in our diets can help reduce our risk of breast cancer and improve our overall health. Number 11. Alcohol consumption. A common social activity 
and often a way to unwind after a long day, has a darker side that we must confront. Excessive drinking can lead to liver diseases such as cirrhosis and fatty liver disease, gradually deteriorating our liver's ability to function properly. This vital organ plays a crucial role in detoxifying our bodies, and its impairment due to alcohol can have severe consequences for our overall health. But the impact of alcohol extends beyond just the liver. Research has shown that alcohol consumption is closely linked to an increased risk of various types of cancer. When we drink alcohol, it can irritate the cells in our mouth and throat, potentially leading to the development of cancer in these areas. Additionally, alcohol can interfere with hormone levels in the body, which may contribute to the development of breast cancer. Moreover, alcohol consumption has been associated with an elevated risk of bowel cancer, affecting the digestive system. In light of these sobering facts, it's essential to approach alcohol consumption with caution and moderation. Making informed choices about how much and how often we drink can significantly reduce our risk of developing these serious health conditions. Number 12. Pickles. Those tangy and crunchy delights offer a mixed bag of benefits and drawbacks for our health. On one hand, they contain probiotics, which are beneficial bacteria that support our gut health and digestion. These probiotics can help maintain a healthy balance of microorganisms in our digestive system, promoting overall well-being. However, the downside to pickles lies in their high sodium content. Sodium, a key component of salt, is often used in pickling as a preservative and flavor enhancer. While our bodies need some sodium for various physiological functions, excessive sodium intake has been linked to health issues, including high blood pressure and stomach cancer. The link between high sodium intake and stomach cancer underscores the importance of moderation when enjoying pickles and other salty foods. By being mindful of our sodium intake and opting for lower sodium alternatives or homemade pickles with reduced salt content, we can still enjoy the tangy goodness of pickles while minimizing potential health risks. Number 13. Genetically modified organisms GMOs, which are commonly found in markets around the world, have sparked considerable debate regarding their potential impact on health. While some studies suggest that GMOs may pose health risks, conclusive evidence on their effects remains elusive. The process of genetically modifying organisms involves altering their DNA to enhance certain traits, such as resistance to pests or tolerance to herbicides. While proponents argue that GMOs can increase crop yields and reduce reliance on pesticides, critics raise concerns about potential long-term health consequences. Although research on the health effects of GMOs is ongoing, some studies have raised red flags. For example, there are indications that GMOs may contribute to allergic reactions or disrupt natural ecosystems. However, the scientific community has yet to reach a consensus on the extent of these risks. Number 14. Artificial sweeteners, those sugar substitutes found in many diet and low-calorie products, have come under scrutiny due to concerns about their safety. While artificial sweeteners are approved for use by regulatory agencies, such as the FDA, some animal studies have suggested a potential link between high doses of artificial sweeteners and cancer. These studies have raised concerns about the long-term health effects of artificial sweeteners, particularly when consumed in large quantities. While more research is needed to fully understand the impact of artificial sweeteners on human health, some individuals may choose to limit their intake as a precautionary measure. It's important to note that artificial sweeteners are widely used and considered safe for most people when consumed in moderation. However, those with specific health concerns or sensitivities may opt to avoid artificial sweeteners altogether and choose natural sweeteners, such as stevia or honey, as alternatives. Number 15. Processed foods. Those convenient packaged items found in grocery stores' aisles often come with a hidden cost to our health. Packed with high levels of sodium, artificial flavors, and colors, these foods have been implicated in various health issues, including cancer. The excessive sodium content in processed foods can contribute to high blood pressure and increase the risk of heart disease. Additionally, artificial flavors and colors used to enhance the taste and appearance of these foods have been linked to adverse health effects, including allergies and behavioral disorders in children. Furthermore, some studies have suggested a potential link between the consumption of processed foods and cancer. The additives and chemicals present in these foods, such as preservatives and flavor enhancers, may pose carcinogenic risks when consumed regularly over time. 
Given these concerns, it's essential to be mindful of our consumption of processed foods and prioritize whole, unprocessed foods whenever possible. Choosing fresh fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can help reduce our intake of harmful additives and promote better health in the long run. As with any dietary choice, moderation is key, and opting for a balanced diet rich in nutrient-dense foods can support overall well-being and reduce the risk of chronic diseases, including cancer. Number 16. High-fat foods, like fried foods, fatty meats, and rich desserts, have long been associated with indulgence and flavor. However, their consumption can have consequences beyond just satisfying our taste buds. While the link between fats and cancer is primarily indirect, as obesity is a known risk factor for many types of cancer, high-fat diets can contribute to other health issues that may also increase cancer risk. Eating too many high-fat foods can lead to weight gain and obesity, which in turn can raise the risk of developing certain types of cancer. Additionally, diets high in saturated and trans fats have been linked to heart disease, diabetes, and other chronic conditions that can impact overall health and well-being. Moreover, some studies suggest that certain types of fats, such as omega-6 fatty acids found in processed foods and vegetable oils, may promote inflammation in the body, which is believed to play a role in the development of cancer. Therefore, while fats themselves may not directly cause cancer, consuming high-fat foods in excess can contribute to a cascade of health problems that may increase cancer risk indirectly. Choosing a balanced diet that includes healthy fats from sources like nuts, seeds, avocados, and fatty fish, while minimizing intake of saturated and trans fats, can help support overall health and reduce the risk of chronic diseases, including cancer. Number 17. Animal-based foods, such as meat, eggs, and dairy products, are staples in many diets but may have unintended consequences for our health, including potential promotion of cancer cell growth. Research suggests that consuming animal-based products might contribute to the growth of cancer cells in our bodies. These foods can contain certain substances that could fuel the development and spread of cancer. For example, some meats contain compounds that form when they're cooked at high temperatures, which may increase the risk of cancer. Additionally, hormones and antibiotics used in animal agriculture could also play a role in promoting cancer cell growth. Furthermore, Animal-based foods tend to be higher in saturated fats, which have been linked to an increased risk of certain types of cancer, including breast and colorectal cancer. Additionally, some studies have found associations between consuming red and processed meats and a higher risk of cancer. Number 18. Smoked meats, like bacon and smoked sausages, have a smoky flavor that many people enjoy. But there's a downside they contain something called hazardous tar, which can be harmful to our health. Additionally, smoked meats tend to be high in sodium, which is not good for our bodies in large amounts. This combination of hazardous tar and high sodium content has been linked to an increased risk of bowel cancer. So while smoked meats might taste delicious, it's important to be aware of the potential health risks associated with them. Choosing healthier alternatives or enjoying smoked meats in moderation can help reduce our risk of developing bowel cancer and other health issues. Number 19 eating dairy products, like milk, cheese, and yogurt, is common in many diets. However, there's some research suggesting that consuming dairy might be linked to a higher risk of certain cancers. Studies have found associations between dairy consumption and an increased risk of ovarian, prostate, and breast cancers. While the exact reasons for these associations are not fully understood, it's thought that hormones present in dairy products, such as estrogen and insulin like growth factor 1 IGF-1, may play a role in promoting cancer cell growth. Additionally, some studies have suggested that the high levels of saturated fat in dairy products may contribute to cancer risk, particularly for breast and prostate cancers. However, it's essential to note that more research is needed to fully understand the relationship between dairy consumption and cancer risk. While some studies have found associations, others have not, and the overall evidence is inconclusive. As with any dietary choice, it's important to consider individual health factors and preferences. For those concerned about the potential risks of dairy consumption, opting for plant-based alternatives or choosing low-fat dairy options may be alternatives to consider. Additionally, maintaining a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can help reduce the risk of cancer. I have this original story of a man Zenji from History of Zen that shows how Zenji got cancer from his carelessness. 
before we go into the story. As we've discussed various cancer-causing foods in this exposure, which one surprised you the most, and why? Are there any particular foods or ingredients that you're now reconsidering in your diet after learning about their potential health risks? Join the conversation by sharing your thoughts and reflections in the comments section below. Once upon a time, in a serene village nestled amidst lush green hills, there lived a man named Zenji, renowned for his deep understanding of Zen philosophy and his unwavering commitment to mindful living. Zenji's days were spent in quiet contemplation, tending to his garden, and sharing wisdom with those who sought his guidance. Despite his peaceful existence, Zenji faced a grave challenge when he received a diagnosis of cancer. Shocked and saddened by this unexpected turn of events, Zenji turned to his Zen teachings for solace and guidance. Reflecting on his life and habits, Zenji realized that some of the foods he had been consuming regularly may have contributed to his illness. Refined sugar, processed meats, and microwave popcorn indulgences he had once enjoyed without question now appeared in a different light, as potential culprits in his health crisis. Determined to confront his illness with the same mindfulness and intention that guided his daily life, Zenji embarked on a journey of dietary transformation. He replaced refined sugar with natural sweeteners like honey and stevia, opting for whole fruits to satisfy his cravings. Processed meats were replaced with plant-based proteins and sustainably sourced seafood, while microwave popcorn was replaced with air-popped alternatives seasoned with herbs and spices. As Zenji made these changes, he found solace in the simplicity of his new diet. Each meal became an opportunity to nourish his body and soul, honoring the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of living in harmony with nature. With each passing day, Zenji's health began to improve. His energy returned, and his spirit grew stronger, fueled by the transformative power of mindful eating and conscious living. Surrounded by the beauty of the natural world and supported by his community, Zenji embraced each moment with gratitude and humility, knowing that his journey towards healing was guided by the wisdom of the ancients and the strength of his own spirit. In time, Zenji's cancer went into remission, a testament to the healing power of mindful living and the resilience of the human spirit. Inspired by his journey, Zenji continued to share his wisdom with others, guiding them on the path to health, happiness, and inner peace. And so Zenji's story reminds us that even in the face of adversity, there is hope. By cultivating mindfulness in our daily lives and making conscious choices about what we eat, we can overcome challenges, nourish our bodies, and live with purpose and intention. The journey through the maze of cancer-causing foods has shed light on the hidden dangers lurking within our everyday diets. From refined sugars to processed meats, microwave popcorn to farmed salmon, each indulgence comes with its own set of potential risks to our health. As we navigate the aisles of our grocery stores and make choices about what to put on our plates, mindfulness and awareness are essential tools in safeguarding our well-being. By prioritizing whole, unprocessed foods and minimizing our consumption of foods high in additives, chemicals and saturated fats, we can take proactive steps towards reducing our risk of cancer and promoting overall health. Making informed choices about what we eat empowers us to take control of our health destiny and live our lives to the fullest. Here are some strategies to prevent cancer by making mindful dietary choices. Choose whole foods. Opt for whole, unprocessed foods such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. These foods are rich in essential nutrients and antioxidants that help protect cells from damage and reduce the risk of cancer. Limit processed meats. Minimize consumption of processed meats like bacon, sausage, and deli meats, as they contain additives and preservatives that have been linked to cancer. Instead, choose lean sources of protein such as poultry, fish, and plant-based alternatives. Reduce refined sugar intake. Cut back on foods and beverages high in refined sugars such as sodas, candies, and pastries. Excess sugar consumption can contribute to inflammation and insulin resistance, which may increase cancer risk. Avoid trans fats. Steer clear of hydrogenated oils and foods containing trans fats, such as fried foods, packaged snacks, and baked goods. These fats have been linked to various health issues, including heart disease and certain cancers. Limit alcohol. Limit alcohol consumption, as excessive intake has been associated with an increased risk of various cancers, including those of the breast, liver, and digestive tract. Stick to moderate drinking or consider abstaining altogether. Choose healthy cooking methods. 
Opt for healthier cooking methods, such as grilling, steaming, or baking instead of frying or charbroiling, which can produce carcinogenic compounds. Use herbs, spices, and healthy oils like olive oil for flavoring. Eat more plant-based foods. Incorporate a variety of plant-based foods into your diet, including fruits, vegetables, legumes, and nuts. Plant-based diets are rich in fiber, vitamins, and phytonutrients that support overall health and reduce cancer risk. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day to stay hydrated and support optimal bodily functions. Water helps flush out toxins and waste products, promoting a healthy environment within the body. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the world of cancer-causing foods. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to A Word with the Wise for more informative content on health, wellness, and mindful living. Disclaimer, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. It is essential to consult with a qualified healthcare professional before making any dietary changes or addressing health concerns.